Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD and Windows 9 Expectations. And yes, believe it or not, Windows 9 is coming pretty soon. We really don't know when it's actually coming out, but the era of the Windows 8 and 8.1 is going to be finished pretty soon. Uh, I think Microsoft wasn't really successful with these two operating systems. Again, they did push out a huge update one that kind of fixed some of the problems that we're having. Uh, the whole issue with the booting to the desktop, they gave us that with update one, but it wasn't enough because everyone was so familiar and loved the start menu. Um, rumors said that the start menu is coming back and another huge rumor is that the charm bar, that lovely charm bar, is going to disappear with the new operating system that Microsoft is going to be pushing out. Now, the problem is a lot of people are so familiar or so used to using the charm bar that they're kind of probably going to get upset. I'm one of those people that I'm not going to get upset at all because whether or not it comes back or not, um, I really don't care. I, I, get, I got kind of used to it real fast. Um, I think the charm bar was mostly for tablet users only. For a desktop and laptop, it was the most horrible idea ever. Now, it said that Microsoft is going to be releasing it maybe late 2014 or early 2015. Early, early 2014, it's a good chance that they're going to be pushing out a preview, just like they did with Windows Blue, that they pushed out a preview to the developers team. and put it out there in the wild to see how it reacts with people and then tweak it and fix it for uh, early 2014 release. Now, it's also said that it's gonna be probably free. Now, that's, that's kinda big to me, free. Uh, also, I read that it's if it's not gonna be free for the public, it's probably gonna be free for the enterprise because I think Microsoft wants to do this new operating system for businesses because a lot of businesses are not migrating over to 8.1 due to the fact that the start menu is not there. Uh, a lot of people during businesses or enterprise level, they have to train their users to get Windows 8.1 familiar. Remember, when you start a new job, you're using either XP or Windows 7 or Vista. You're so familiar with that because that's what's home. And if home, if you don't have 8.1 or 8 at home, you're not going to get familiarized or get used to at your work environment because you're so used to the start screen and doing things the old way. So I think Microsoft is trying to push it to get more people aboard with their new operating system, regardless of if 8.1 is pushed out automatically when you get a desktop. But a lot of people, when they get a desktop, you know, they convert down to Windows 7 or they install a Linux distribution, which is like Ubuntu or Gintu or Arc Linux or something like that. There's also a possibility that before the end of the year, uh, Microsoft is going to push out a huge update. They haven't really given this update a name, so it's probably going to be update 2 or they're probably going to call it a Windows 8.2. There's also a rumor that the start menu is going to be coming out of this update, but again, it's a rumor. Now, there's a couple of questions that I asked myself. Is Microsoft focusing with cloud computing? What's the role of Bing and power consumption? As always, power consumption to me is huge because when you're using a laptop or a tablet, you want to know if the battery life will work out for you. Uh, always, when a new operating system comes, power consumption is always the number one question behind my mind because when you're using the operating system, the power drains faster. Rumors said that the new operating system has new features with power management, security features, and other stuff. So I'm kind of excited about Windows 9. I can't wait when the preview comes out so I could download it and test it out and show you guys what's the deal about. And two more rumors that I heard is that the modern UI apps are going to be reinvented or redone within the Windows operating system. Meaning with the old apps, you were only able to uh, click on them in the full screen with no taskbar. Now you're going to have it com compact or unity with the operating system, which allows you to have a floating dialog box that you're able to drag and drop like a regular window, which is pretty cool. And virtual desktops. I can't believe 
Microsoft took them, it took them this long to actually bring virtual desktops to their operating system. Virtual desktop is actually seen with the Ubuntu operating system and also on the Mac OS operating system. So I'm wondering how Microsoft is going to incorporate virtual desktops with their new operating system. And that's it guys, that is Windows 9's expectations. Those are the kind of things that I'm expecting with Windows 9. Uh, you got the start menu coming back, hooray, charm bar disappearing, virtual desktops coming, uh, charm bar is going to be disabled, I think I said that before, uh, new improvements for security as well as power management, what is the whole deal with cloud computing, are they still keeping the SkyDrive integration, are they going to take it to a next level, what's the whole deal with Bing um, integration with that, um, are they going to come out with a new Internet Explorer? Are they going to keep the same Internet Explorer? There's been word that they're going to be changing the name of Internet Explorer to something else because, again, not a lot of people like myself use Internet Explorer a lot. I'm no, I'm no, I normally use Chrome or Firefox. Internet Explorer to me is like a huge security risk. <laughs> if you guys think something else, if you love Internet Explorer, leave the comments right below and let me know why because I don't like using it at all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Windows 9 experimentation. Um, I'm, I want to hear you guys. What are you guys are expecting with Windows 9? Uh, remember late 2014. We're so close for the ending of 2014. So probably maybe, I don't know, December, middle of December. They're probably going to release the preview or early 2014, which is around the corner. Uh, leave your comments below. I want to know what you guys think about Windows 9. Do you like it? Is it a good thing? Is it too late? Should it just wipe 8.1 first and just bring Windows 9 to make everything, you know, good? Uh, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.